Up there! More of them! Oh crap, alright. I'm starting to think maybe a shotgun might have been a better idea. Forming the duties of his office. Of Digby C. Caesar. Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by. I am Digby, this is Jeff the Horse, and today we are back in Red Dead Redemption 2. Now, if you saw the last episode, you will know that we are part of a gang that was on the run from the Pinkertons or something. We basically, all of us got trapped in a blizzard, and then I was sent on ahead with the boss man, and somebody else named Micah. But yeah, we ended up stumbling across this little farmhouse, and we rescued the lady that owned the house from a gang that had killed her husband. But, unfortunately, we also ended up burning it down, which was a complete shame because, you know, it would have been a nice place to stay. So, yeah, we saved her, but we wrecked her place, and we are now on our way back to the mining camp where we left everybody else, so I will see you guys when we get there. You come with us? Of course. Yes. It's okay. We're bad men. We ain't them. No. Yeah. It's okay. Get on. We'll keep you safe until you figure out what you want to do. What's your name, miss? Miss. Adler. Adler. Sadie Adler. Mrs. I... He... He was my husband. Home O'Driscoll and his scum, they beat us to it. We found some of them there, but there is more about, apparently, scouting the train. Thank you. That's the last thing we need right now, Dutch. Well, it is what it is. But we found some supplies, some blankets, a little bit of food, and this poor soul, Mrs. Adler, Miss Tilly, Miss Karen, would you warm her up? Give her a drink or something. And Mrs. Adler, it's gonna be okay. You're safe now. They turned her into a widow. Animals. I need some rest. I haven't slept in three days. You're over here. Miss O'Shea will show you the way. Mr. Morgan, we put you in a room over here. Thank you, Miss Grimshaw. Mr. Bell, you're with the fellas over there. What? How come Arthur gets a room and I get a bunk bed next to Bill Williamson and a bunch of darkies? Get yourself to bed. Okay, so he's a bit of a jerk. Well, dude, that's probably why I got a room and you didn't. And yes, Mrs. Adler, you are safe, but only by the loosest possible definition of the word. Alright, well, there's the thumbnail sorted out. Enter, pursued by a man. Ain't been seen in days. Okay. Weather ain't let up. He's strong. And he's smart. Strong, at least. Hello, Arthur. Abigail. Arthur, how you doing? Just fine, Abigail. And you? I need you to... I'm sorry. I'm sorry to ask, but... It's little John. He's got himself caught into a scrape again. He ain't been seen in two... Two days. Your John will be fine. I mean, he may be as dumb as rocks and as dull as rusted iron, but that ain't changing because he got caught in some snowstorm. Please go take a look. Javier? Yes. Javier, will you ride out with Arthur <clears throat> to take a look for John? <clears throat> You're the two best fit men we've got. Now? She's... We're all... Yeah, we're pretty worried about him. I know... The situation were reversed, and he looked for me. Thank you. 
All right, looks like we're teaming up with Javier. This way. Last I know, John was headed up the river. For all we know, he kept riding north and never looked back. He wouldn't leave. I like that. Uh, wouldn't be the first time. All right, well, good news is we're now on Jeff and not that other horse, so it's pretty good odds I'm not going to run into the back of that guy ahead of me. <laughs> and wow, this game is pretty. I said before I thought I had the thumbnail sorted out, but you know what? I think that might be the thumbnail instead. Hey, I see some smoke. Come on, let's take a look. Let's hope it ain't more of O'Driscoll's boys. Yeah, well, if it's O'Driscoll's, well, I get a gun, it's all good. Seems somebody left. Recently. That way. Sure, well, come on then. I was saying it must have been really recently at the fire still moment. There's some tracks leading to the river. Yeah! Alright, well, Javier, I'm following you. Please don't lead me off a cliff. Let's cross. Hold on, hold See on, hold on. Continue up that way. Okay, I remember what the slowdown button is. You think it's John? You tell me. These are horse tracks for sure, but it could be anyone. Let's just see where they lead. All right, I can so, do that. You were there, Javier. What really happened on that boat? If we had the money, it seemed fine. Then suddenly they were everywhere. Bounty hunters? No, Pinkertons. It was crazy. Raining bullets. Wait, can I actually talk to you? Watch out for this crevice. I cannot. Oh, yeah, watch out for the crevice. It's a really solid advice, my friend. Thank Dutch. you. Killed a girl in a bad way, but it was a bad situation. That ain't like him, though. I mean, come on, don't leave the story there, dude. The tracks go left, down here. Uh, can I get the rest of the story where Dutch killed a girl that was in a bad way, please? Davey got shot. Mac and John both shot too. Sean, we don't even know. I'm surprised we escaped at all. By the time you boys showed up from the other side of town, we were only just holding on. Bad business, all right. Damn snow's coming in hot again. We'll lose these tracks if we don't move fast. All right, I know where to go faster, but please don't worry about that. And if I'm honest, I feel like I've already lost the tracks. No, I'm gonna trust he knows where he's going, and I'm just gonna follow him. Watch yourself, it's not very wide here. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, slow down. Okay, last time I came to a little narrow bit, I actually fell off of it, and I do not want to put Jeff off of the cliff. Come on, boy. Horses are struggling. Not yeah, Jeff. A lot of fresh snow here. I don't know about this, Javier. I mean, we can't follow nothing. Now let's push on a little bit. Maybe we'll pick up the trail again. Alright, dude. Well, hopefully you remember the way back home. Almost there, boy. Come on, now. Hey, look! Over there! You see that? See what? What did I see? Oh, hello. Oh, no. Please tell me this isn't that John guy. John was riding that oh, no. That's a horse. Let's see if he can hear us. Alright, dude, that's a really good way to cause an avalanche, seriously. Okay, I heard something. Come on! Up there! Up where? This way? I hope it's this way, because this is where I'm going. It's coming from up ahead somewhere. I don't think we can go much further on the horses. We'll have to walk from here. I grab that shotgun from your horse. Okay, you can Who only carry one sidearm at a time. You can swap your carry weapons with weapons stored on your horse. Nope, you know what? I'm pretty confident in my uh, pistol. Grab your shotgun. Come on. Or not, because apparently he wants me to bring the shotgun. Okay, hold on. 
Come on. All right, I got the shotgun now. Are we all happy? Apparently so. It's slippery, be careful. Does that mean I can actually fall down? Because if I can, that would be really funny. Yeah, that we're high up here. You're telling me. He just said a really bad word in Spanish, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I know. I can hear you screaming for help, and trust me, we are coming as quickly as possible. Careful. There's a drop here. All right, stamina's on the low left. I figured that one out. Drop doesn't Careful feel like it's going to be that big of a deal. I take it this is still part of the tutorial where I'm learning all the like climbing mechanics and stuff. Watch your head here. Oh, and ducking mechanics. Okay, good now. Which means yes, I Watch have that absolutely stamp. spot on. Real slippery. Stay close to the wall. Up here. Come on. Gap here. Sounds closer now. Come on. We're coming, John. Why did you always say, John? We're coming. I tell you what, considering how reluctant we were to come out here, I'm actually kind of glad that we did, because I feel like John might have ended up dead if we Man, hadn't. It's cold. I get my shotgun out now. I'm going to just in case because I feel like there might How be some uh, shenanigans coming. Been a tough few days. I know. Here, take a drink of that. Absolutely. Nice. Uh, designed for the snow. Okay, can I get the shotgun Let's out now? Then. Thank you. Yes, we're keeping moving. Let's go find John, right. shoot some pools, and go back home. Talking to yourself, you fool. I mean, I know they said he was dumb, but I didn't think he was that dumb. Over here! All right! Pot down, Marston! Oh! That's quite a scratch you got there. Never thought I'd say this, but good to see you, Arthur Morgan. I mean, get wrecked, dude. I can leave you here if you want. You don't look so good. I don't feel too good, neither. I'm freezing. Don't die just yet, cowboy. Come on, compadre. Well, we can't go back the way we came. Let's try this way. Ain't you a sorry sight. Can't argue with you there. See, I told Dutch you weren't the right man for this. I'm sure you did. Uh, you all right? I don't think so. Come on. Hopefully this will lead us out. I've got to say really quick, Look the uh, cinematic direction of this game is incredible. It's not one of those things you usually think about, you know, like how well the scenes in the game are actually set up. But this is absolutely gorgeous. Hey, I think I figured out what we need the shotgun for. Okay, here we go, John. We'll lead them to Arthur. Okay, hold that to lock on an animal and R to attract attention. Come here, dude. How close do I have to be to you to shoot you? Um, game lag, this is really poor timing on that part. That worked. Um, I think you're next. Ow, oh, shoot. Hold still. Come here. There we go. Not bad. I got three shots out of a uh, two shot shotgun. Sounds good to me. Jeff, dude, how fast can you run? Oh, uh, yeah. I want my gun back, please. I've had enough of this thing. I want my pistol. And I want to. 
Okay, no, I don't want to do that, dude. I want to get on the horse. There we go. Okay, I figured it out. Come on, then. Let's get back to the others. After you, my friend. Yeah. I don't feel too good. You'll be fine. It's just like a, a dog bite. <sighs> Knew a fella. Got bit by a dog. Died. An hour later. You ain't gonna die. Not yet. I think maybe a shotgun might have been a better idea. Alright, as you sort it out. Jeff, I am absolutely trusting you to steer right now. More coming in on the left. What do you mean more coming on the left? Oh crap. Alright, got that one. And yep, reload quickly. Thank you. You see any more up there? Don't think so. Jesus. You still with us, Marston? Just about. You're gonna be okay. We have some shelter now. Thanks for coming for me. Ah, oh, you're welcome, dude. That bullet in Blackwater, now this. You had a hell of a time. And Arthur always says, I'm lucky. None of us are lucky right now. Come on, Jeff, get a move on. Should ride in the water for a bit. Try to lose a scent. Don't want to leave a trail right back to camp. You know? We're gonna need to come up with a better story for that scar. So, freezing, bleeding, starving, damn near getting eaten to death, thank good enough for you. Whoops. I'm trying, dude, I got turned around, give me a second, honestly. Come on, we should all stick together. Anyway, you was here, let's cross to the left. Oh, hello, I didn't realize my horse could jump. Let's push hard and get back. Sounds like a plan to me, dude. See those buildings up ahead, John? That's where we camped. Nearly there. Come on! Someone help John down off this horse. Can we get some help here? Hello, where is everybody? Some help. We need some help here. Come on, help him down. You're alive. You're alive. Oh, here we go. There we go. Oh. Ay, oh. careful, idiotas. It's his leg. Oh, come on, let's get you warm. Thank you. Thank you both. This is a new low, even by your standards. <laughs> Thank you, Arthur. Thank you. You got any other lost maidens need saving? <laughs> Not today. If you and Dutch talk about how we're going to get out of this. I was just discussing with Herr Strauss when the weather breaks. I uh, suppose we'll have to keep heading east. East? Into all that? That civilization? I know. The west is where our problems are worse. Come on, Herr Strauss. Let's get warm. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. <sighs> Seriously, the dude got attacked by a pack of wolves. Are you really going to give him crap for that? We have been running for weeks. We found shelter and been resting here in some old abandoned mining town while we wait the thaw. Hardly the spring I had been hoping for. Okay, events and interesting locations are noted in your journal as you explore. Hold J to view it. Alright, we'll try that. Oh, that's kind of cool. Okay, Blackwater. I think that's where we were, right? So we're safe here. So then we've got chapter. I guess. Okay, so this is all stuff that he said in the last one. And then we got the train thing about the O'Driscolls where they're gonna try and rob it. Okay. Mission complete, enter pursued by memory. So does this mean now I can actually save the game? 
Okay, yes, I can save the game, and that makes my life so much easier because it didn't save last time because I didn't play through the rest of the tutorial, which meant I had to actually replay some of that before I started recording today. Okay, we had to get more money and keep heading west, but we're heading east. Oh, hello, I can search a drawer. Um, sure, I'll have a quick peek. What did I find? Classic oat cakes. Okay. So now we have to figure out what it is we're supposed to do next, right? Well, let's try talking to... Um, hi Dutch. And the money's well hidden in Blackwater? I believe so. And they don't even know we dumped it. Oh, uh, well, you we can wait then. All right, what about you, my friend? Can I talk to you? We weren't there, Jose. I'm aware of that. And they shouldn't have been either. Oh, we can't change nothing now. All right, so am I meant to actually, like, search around the place or what? Can't pick up the book. He's reading something. God only knows what it is. And I'm going to guess this is... Oh, is this where they stuck John the injured guy? No, it isn't. That might be the creepiest doll I have ever seen in my life. Well, to be fair, the cobwebs don't help. Well, hello, lady that yelled at your boyfriend after he got attacked by a wolf. You okay in here, Molly? It might be warmer by the fire. I'm fine, thank you. Okay. Quite the chatty Kathy, isn't she? All right, well, let's stick our heads outside and see what's going on. Holy, still a snowstorm, Batman. Okay, well, let's go say hello to Javier, then. Another cold morning. Alright, so apparently nobody wants to chat. Well, Javier, there, you don't mind if I poke around the cabin, do you? Boys, because I thought you liked action. A couple of days on the lamb, and you lot have all turned yellow. Apart from you, of course. Shut up, Micah. I ain't wow, never Micah's seen so many long faces. Mm. I guess, I guess folks miss them. That fell. But when I fall, I don't want no fuss. When you fall, there'll be a party. <laughs> <laughs> <What a party. laughs> Probably. Uh -huh. Funny, huh? Sure. <laughs> okay, well, Mike is a real jerk. I feel like being laughed at by the likes of you two. Stop it! Now! You fools punching each other when Como Driscoll's needing punching hard. You want to sit around waiting for him to come find us? All of you, we got work to do. Come on. Are you sure about this, Dutch? Yes. Both been through a lot recently. We hardly back on our feet yet. And the last thing we need is to get bushwhacked by Como O'Driscoll. Let's go. I know you hate him, Dutch. He's here for us. I doubt that. No, you're just doubting me. I would never doubt you, Dutch. You... You always said revenge is a luxury we can't afford. This is the right call, Arthur. Take this. And this is about more than revenge for business long ago. They were talking about trains and detonators here. Cole always had good information. Come on. And you think now is the right time to hit a train? Now you might fancy living on deer piss and rabbit shit. I'm getting too old for that life. Mr. Matthews, Mr. Smith, Mr. Pearson. Would you please look after the place? There are O'Driscolls about. Yeah. All right, so I got a rifle, and apparently we are off to rob a train. Oh, and I have a lasso as well. Southwest, right, Arthur? Yeah. He said follow the main trail southwest. The camp near some lake. Okay, let's go find these bastards before they find us and rob this core they're planning. Alright, we got bad guy number one, horsey there number one, are. bad guy number That's two. Definitely them. Home? Somebody up on the tower. I think so. Yeah, that's him. Oh, hold on, I'm guessing they're talking about that guy right there. The one that looks like uh Kurt Russell. 
Okay, can I, uh... Nope, never mind. Apparently it's a cutscene. That's okay. Who's he talking to? He don't seem very happy. No. They leaving? Seem to be. Should we go get them? No. Cone can wait. Best to get some of them out of there. And much less fun to rob him and his score if he never finds out about it. Come on, let's get down there. Well, hang on, dude. You gave me a rifle. Can I just sit here and snipe people? Because that sounds like it would be a lot of fun. Yeah, I'm going to get my gun out. Oh, hold on. Can I, uh... No, it's got to be on my horse. Aha, I was right. Okay, Jeff, dude, can I please have my rifle? You boys be ready to pick them off from up there. <laughs> sure thing. Oh, there we go. Okay, so tab, tab. Wait a minute, where's my rifle? Is it on the saddle? It is on the saddle. Okay, we got the long arm, shoulder, carbine, repeater. Ooh, I've got a hundred bullets. Good. Come on, let's go. Seems easiest to take the same path down as Bill and Micah. Like you said, revenge is a luxury we can't afford. Yeah, just... Wasn't sure you agreed with me. Arthur. Arthur, have you completely lost faith in me? Our needs right now are supplies, equipment, and a way out of here. Everything else, including coal, can wait. Okay. There's enough of those bastards down there to deal with as it is. Now come on. Dude, I am right beside you and ready to start shooting people. In fact, will it let me start sniping from up here? I suppose one way to find out. Uh, yeah, don't walk in front of a guy with a loaded rifle, my friend. It says I can. Alright, well here's what we're going to do. I am going to try and shoot somebody from up here. And then I think we're going to end the episode. Because that way if I screw it up, when I restart, I'll actually be able to do it correctly. But yeah, I'm just kind of curious to see if I can get the guy from here. And I am also almost out of recording time, which means I probably should be wrapping this up anyway. So, fingers crossed. Three, two, one. Okay, yeah, that wasn't exactly what I was supposed to do. <laughs> Alright, well, it's kind of a terrible place to leave it, but I think I'm going to leave this episode here. And next time when we come back, I won't take that shot, and we will actually do this all properly. And on that little teaser, as always, I've been Digby. I thank you guys for stopping by. I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Red Dead Redemption 2. And yeah, I hope to see you for the next one.